Bookstores are very special places. You can get lost in them for hours, analyzing covers and picking up obscure titles while predicting what each story has to offer. They are solely dedicated to discovery and imagination. On July 19th of 2011, the verdict came in and became official. The famous bookstore chain known as Borders fell down to liquidation in bankruptcy court, which means that the company dissolved completely, closing 399 stores and laying off approximately 10,700 workers in the process. If bookstores are going under and the paper book market is declining, what does this leave our future generations? In 2007, the first e-reader known as the Kindle produced by Amazon slowly started a reaction that etched away at bookstores. There was a 9.6% decrease in sales at bookstores in 2007 alone, and one major factor was due to the release of the e-reader. Adapting to the change in new technology, consumers slowly started transitioning to e-readers and leaving bookstores and physical books behind altogether. So why are the e-readers becoming more dominant in the reading industry? To explain this, we turn to the science of change theory. There are four main principles that this theory consists of. These principles are make it clear, make it easy, make it popular, and make it mandatory. We are now going to take a closer look at this theory by examining the Kindle and how it significantly portrays each principle. Starting with the first principle of making it clear, this simply means sharing what the product is to avoid any confusion to future consumers. When the product first came out, commercials clearly showed what exactly the Kindle was made for and what you could do with it. The commercials portrayed the features of the product by pointing out multiple key elements to attract and interest anyone who was watching. Another tactic that was used by making the product clear was station kiosks that were set up to better showcase the product and provide customer service to any customer. This way, if a user happened to have a question, it could easily be answered. Moving on to the next principle of making it easy, this means exactly what it sounds like. One big selling point when the product first came out was that a user could condense their large library down to one small tablet, roughly the size of a piece of paper. With it being just one tablet, the ease of accessibility became greater than books. Another advantage of the product was how easy and convenient it became to purchase a new book. Before, you had to get into your car, drive to the nearest bookstore, and physically buy the book itself. Now, you can do this without having to get up from the couch. A new book is literally just a few touches away. To be able to increase the text size on the Kindle has been phenomenal for me. The book buying process has been made a lot easier. It arrives at my Kindle a minute later. I have to tell you that I'm not a very uh, technological person. Uh, I think that's putting it mildly. And for me to be able to use it easily and use it efficiently has been wonderful. The next principle is making it popular. Nothing drives consumers and their behaviors more than the power of conformity. Celebrities such as Oprah, Cameron Diaz, and Tom Cruise have been influential opinion leaders by showing off their own Kindle device. To make the Kindle even more popular, the device sold out quickly as soon as Oprah mentioned her love for the product on her show. Another way of how the Kindle became so popular is examined through Google Trends. The Kindle spiked around 2010 and continued to spike again with the new releases and updates of the product in the following years. E-readers are continuously coming out with new versions to keep the public interested and engaged in the product. For example, the Kindle now has five generations of the device. It started with the original Kindle, then transitioned into the Kindle Paperwhite, the Kindle Fire, the Kindle Fire HD, and most recently the Kindle Fire HD with an 8.9 inch screen. With the combination of opinion leaders and the constant update of the product, this keeps the e-reader popular and fresh in the eyes of the public. Finally, moving to the last principle of making it mandatory, this means that because a product gets to the point to where it is so big and popular that it eventually becomes mandatory. 
This is because publishers have found that people are increasingly using e-readers for reading instead of purchasing physical books. This has led to a decline in the number of physical books being printed. There is nowhere else for all of the paperbacks and hardcovers to go, so the most logical thing to do is to just stop printing them. Ebooks offer readers convenience and the chance to save money on buying books, but they're also causing bookstores to take a major hit. In 2011, ebooks captured $3.2 billion of the book selling market, and by 2016, that number is projected to grow to nearly $10 billion. That estimate could be pretty close to reality based on past trends. Between 2010 and 2011 alone, ebook sales rose by 210%. Prior to the introduction of the Amazon Kindle, the ebook market was fairly insignificant, but now the bookstore market is becoming insignificant instead. In the past two years that I've had my Kindle, I've downloaded over 200 books, and I've read every single one of them. So it's actually made me a, a more avid reader. I really like it because I used to have to carry a stack of books to school every day. It's more clean and organized and lighter, and I think it's very practical. So what did we learn from all of this? With the emergence of the e-reader, bookstores have slowly started declining. We can attribute this to the science of change theory. Through the principles of making it clear, easy, popular, and mandatory, the e-reader would not be as dominant as it is today. By examining the Kindle, we were able to see how it was understood by consumers, how convenient it was, how opinion leaders and the continuation of updates played a role, and how the product turned to become more dominant than the physical books. Society has made it clear that the e-reader has become responsible for the trend of bookstores going under. Therefore, the e-reader has triumphed the books.